Respectfully, IUIC uses that same scripture to say that when I left, that I left and then I left the truth. How dare IUIC apply that to you when Nate left the house of David? How dare the house of David apply that to anybody when they left ISUPK? Who did ISUPK leave? Nobody since 1969. No, I do. And, 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 and now, can I, can I tell you the rule? All right. I could turn around and tell you that ISUPK is the home of the truth. Right. And it is. I could tell you this is the body of Christ. It means nothing if you don't see it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because because this this is what I know. How do, like, like we agree that America is Babylon, right? And you know why we agree? Because when we go inside the Bible, we find physical and spiritual characteristics that pinpoints to this. Well, the way that we know a man of God, the way that we know that if someone's in the body of Christ, is there are identifying markers that are supposed to let you know. And that's where you go and you pledge your fealty, your loyalty to, and where you, where you establish your resume. What I would say is, don't let the fact that you made a wrong stop deter you from finding your way home. Don't let that be a stumbling block. You know what I'm saying? Now just roll with me. I'm just gonna give you something that's very basic, for you to utilize in your search so that you can find your home and that your whole family can build your resume. What's up? No sweat. Read. Book of Matthews chapter 7 and verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. First of all, we gotta find the straight gate. You know what I'm saying? The straight gate is very narrow. Everybody ain't running in there all at once. You understand? The wide gate is these churches. That's why there's billions of Christians. Right. Read. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead it to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. Verse 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which lead it unto life. And that's not an easy path. You know what I'm saying? Which is why you in searching for that straight gate, you had to make a couple of stops along that journey. But then you're like, nah, this ain't right. Nah, this ain't right either. Read. And few there be that find it. Beware! What, what'd that say? And few there be that find it. If you're sincere, you'll find your way home. Read. Beware of false prophets. You gotta beware of false prophets. And me, listen, it's my job and my responsibility to prophesy against all false prophets. Right. Which is why I call them Nasty Nate. Right. Which is right. why I talk about Creflo right. Dollar, Eddie Long, right. all of them, because that's my burden as a prophet. You understand? As a man of war, I have to have enemies. Because the Lord's enemies are my enemies. Read. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. So you gotta first beware. And here's another thing. Don't believe me either. You understand? But test what I'm saying against this record. You exactly. Read. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. And that's what they are in that purple. But I'm gonna get off them and we just gonna continue. Go ahead. Verse 16, ye shall know them by their fruits. Ye shall know them by their fruits. So 
so now, when I go and I look at the church, the reason I know that the church is not of God, because every drug dealer I knew had a Jesus piece. You understand? Because, I mean, how many, how many of our daughters, even sons, got molested in there? That's what you're producing? No. That's not good fruit. Read. But a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. A corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. I just heard a sister say to Catholics, the Catholics ran the largest child molestation ring on the planet. Right. That cannot be a good tree. That's evil tree. Evil fruit. You understand all that backbiting you're talking about? The, the, the slander. You understand the gossip? That's not good fruit. So now we know this can't be home. This can't be what the Lord produced. We have to weed them out. We got to test it. Good. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. A good tree can't bring forth evil fruit. So what you got to do is, these trees are metaphors, you understand, for schools of thought. You understand, places where you go and you get knowledge. You understand? You want to know why you feel like that? Because this is the first time you really heard a prophet of God talk to you. Damn right. You understand? The reason why you got some tears coming down right now is because you're actually hearing the word of God right now. Damn spoken right. by a prophet. Because this is good fruit. Damn right. This is where the Lord put his name. Now, test it. Try a friend. See if I talk the talk and walk the walk. And what you're going to find out is you might have just took a step closer to home. Read. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. A corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruit. So now we got to look at that church. We got to look at these Muslim mosques. You look at the Muslim mosques. Listen, you become a drug dealer. You sell crack. You get locked up. You go inside. You get uh, you get protection from the Muslims. You wear a kufi. You come home. You sell crack to everybody who don't have a beer. Now you're a Muslim drug dealer. That's how that works. You understand? And now you look at Israelite groups. The same way there's a religion for any sin that you want, there is an Israelite group for every single wicked thing that you want to do. You want to you want to you want to be a, a a pedophile, you go to GMS. You understand? You want to you want to love white people, you go to GOCC. You understand? You want to be a police officer? You understand? Or you want to be a woman who believes in monogamy and, and fall for that? You go to IUIC, but they murdered Joy Morgan. Joy Morgan in the grave right now because of one of their soldiers. Nate was a New York City detective arresting black men, letting them rot on Rikers Island for 12 months. That's not a man of God. What type of fruit is that? You understand? Now, you want to come? Come come check our track record. Come, you heard of, I'm sure you heard of Captain Azariah. You come see that brother's track record. You let, That's the fruit Command and General Yohanna produced. You understand? This conversation I'm having you right now, this is the fruit that he produced. So what you got to do is, you have to do your due diligence in finding your way home. And then once you do, I'm going to give you one more piece of criteria. Go back to Corinthians 1 and 10. That was Matthew 7 and 13 through 15 and 16. Good. I got you, no sweat. And that's really why I came up here in the first place, because I was like, I didn't hear it get answered. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that... 1 Corinthians 1 and 10, not 10 and 1. No sweat, no sweat. You're going to get it. You're going to go straight to the first chapter and then verse 10. And this is so important because the crazy things that I hear, I hear that... Oh, we're not going to agree till Christ returns. What? I agree with every single one of my brothers. I hear, oh, you can't have the whole truth. Did Ezekiel have the whole truth? Did Moses? Did Peter? So if the Lord sent prophets into the earth today, why wouldn't they have the whole truth? I don't trust nobody that says they don't have the whole truth. Then maybe the Lord didn't reveal his secrets onto you. You understand? What did Christ say? Christ turned around and said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man gets to the Father except through me. They wanted to kill him for it. Because when you're a prophet, you speak with the utmost authority. Read. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you. I plead with you, brethren. Go ahead. By the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. You understand? By the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach in the Hebrew. Go ahead. That ye all speak the same thing. We're all supposed to speak the same thing. We're like... If I put any brother up here, they're going to teach the same doctrine. You go to Boston, they're going to teach the same thing. You go to Cali, you go to the UK, anywhere, we're going to speak the same thing. That's the criteria of the body of Christ. 
once you understand, along with finding out if they are producing good fruit or not. Read. And that there be no divisions among you. There be no divisions. None of my brothers are divided. You understand? And that's why the scripture says, mock them who cause division. I can't agree with people who have caused the schism in the body of Christ. When this is the original, we started at oh, 1969. And I'm not saying this out of pride or vanity. I'm saying it because it's history. That there is nobody on the streets with this chart that didn't come from this school. There's nobody with these breakdowns that didn't come from here. So why'd they leave? Read. But that ye be perfectly joined together. We're supposed to be perfectly joined together. So that means like, you know how you said you got a family? Well, he got a family. He got a family. He got a family. I got a family. And all our families are perfectly joined together. You have to get your family perfectly joined together with the body of Christ. And you have to search. Read. In the same mind and in the same judgment. In the same mind and in the same judgment. We're not supposed to have different opinions. We're not supposed to slander each other. We're supposed to all have the same love and care for each other. And that's how, I'm gonna give you one more scripture and then I'm gonna answer her question. Because this is this is the most important thing right here. Give me 1 John 2 and 19. Huh? Someone used to say that they go by Matthew 15, the process to deal with each other, but they don't actually go by Matthew 15. And that's how you know? Remember, it's not just the sayers of the law, it's the doers. Walk the walk, talk the talk. The problem is sometimes, you know, with those two camps, with those two groups, when you try to apply what the Bible says, you realize they're not applying. You know what I'm saying? And, and that is a sign for you to run to the exit. Because once again, it says try the spirit. You understand? I'm, listen, I, I'm not mad at anybody for being on their journey, for searching. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you didn't stay there means you're sincere because you're still looking. You get what I'm saying? Don't stop looking and don't let a false teacher become a stumbling block for you. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I'm believing fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 